Hey guys, this is Ronan, the Nighttime Entrepreneur. Thanks for joining me in today's video. Today we're going to cover how to set up and integrate your YouTube live events with OBS Open Broadcast Software. Okay, so as you know, you can live stream in the usual way to YouTube with OBS Open Broadcast Software. Usually you would just go to your creator studio, go into the live streaming area and click on stream now. And that's the page I'm on on screen right now. Doing this usual type of stream just requires that you have OBS set up and hooked up and integrated with your YouTube channel via a stream key. However, this kind of only really works well and gathers a lot of engagement and viewers if the viewers themselves know that there's going to be a live stream in the first place. But there's no real way of doing this ahead of time or ahead of the stream. Now this is a problem for a lot of creators at the moment. Creators want their followers to know that there is going to be a live stream ahead of time and that's where these live events come into play. So you can indeed use YouTube to schedule a live stream event. So rather than just jump on and start streaming, you can have your scheduled event notification sent out to your subscriber base just by creating it. Once you create the event, the scheduled event shows up in your audience's feed just like a thumbnail of a usual regular pre-recorded video of yours. Your audience can click on this and be brought into your live stream page or your live stream area. The video won't be playing as the event is not live at that time but your audience and your viewers will have a place that they can wait for the stream to begin and they can also chat amongst themselves while waiting for you to begin the live stream in the chat box that's provided. Now this is great because you can start your stream with people already there and get right into your content or video subject matter without having to wait for people to join like you usually would and end up having about 5 minutes of dead air as you begin the stream waiting for people to join. And this just kind of sucks especially when your stream gets uploaded as a video afterwards. So very quickly in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the usual live stream and then I'm going to show you what is the difference about setting up the usual stream with a scheduled event stream so that you can see where the confusion lies. There's a lot of creators at the moment having these issues and it's actually a very quick fix believe it or not. So let's get straight to it. So pretty much you can see on screen I'm in the stream now area. I'm just going to show you how to set up a normal regular stream. First thing you need to do is give your stream a name and as you can see here I'm doing test stream you just upload a thumbnail I've just put up the thumbnail that I'm going to use for this video just for just for the sake of the video and when I scroll down to the bottom of the page what you're going to see is a server URL and a stream name or a stream key all you're going to need here is the stream key and if I click reveal then it will reveal I'm just going to have to blur it for the video what you need to do is copy this stream key you need to open up your OBS streaming software on screen, which is what I'm doing here. Go to File, Settings, wait for your settings to open up. Go to the Stream tab and just paste your stream key. And just paste your stream key right there. Press Apply, press OK. And as soon as you actually start streaming with your OBS software, if I can click Start Streaming, you'll notice the stream is about to begin and we go from offline to online and all of your subscribers will get a notification and you'll show up in their subscription feed. So I'm going to stop the stream, that's pretty much how a regular stream is done. Once I click stop in OBS, this stream should finish up in just a few moments. Excellent, so that's the way someone would just usually set up a spontaneous live stream all of a sudden. Now, let's go and create a scheduled live stream and hook up the OBS software to it so that when your scheduled event begins, you go live automatically and your audience can be ready and waiting for you to begin. Just on a side note here, it is quite important to remember that if you schedule a live event, but then when the event is set to begin, you just start a live stream normally like we just went through moments ago, i.e. not streaming into the event itself, but streaming into your channel as usual, it's going to be recognized by YouTube as a different video, so we'll be on a different link and it can happen and has happened that your audience can be waiting for you inside of your scheduled event, but you're actually streaming on a different link completely. So please don't make that mistake. OBS streams into exactly where you tell it to stream, either a normal stream or a scheduled stream, so it's critical to remember this. So what I want to do is set up an event and show you how this works. So it says at the moment I don't have any upcoming events, so I'm going to schedule a new event. 
I'm just going to give it a quick title, so test event is fine, and I'm going to go with today at uh, 11 p.m. Okay, uh, you'll see I'm in Ireland GMT time because I am in fact in Ireland. <clears throat> you can modify and change your um, description box and all of your tags here. I just have some random tags here. Um, usually the type of stream or type of event will be set to quick, but you need to set it to custom. And also notice that there is an advanced settings and monetization tab. Over in the monetization tab, it just asks you, do you want it to be monetized and how you want it to be monetized? And over in the advanced settings, you can set up your live chat, all that kind of stuff. Have a look through it. There might be some things uh, that you want to uh, to do with it, like restrict it based on age and things like that. But when you are finished, just click create event. Another page will load and it'll give you the opportunity to set up a thumbnail. So I'm just going to set up a random thumbnail again. I'll just choose the one that I'm doing for this video if I could find it. Here it is. And pretty much it's going to ask you some questions about ingestion. So it's going to ask you do you want to do a basic ingestion. Now you can read up on all this stuff if you want or I'll make some other videos on it. Um, but pretty much you just want to select what kind of bitrate you want. For this I'm just going to go with 720. And then it's going to open up some more encoder questions and things like that. So this is actually where a lot of the confusion begins. So to get this right, when you're setting up your ingestion settings, you're going to see that YouTube is asking you to paste some information into your encoder, OBS in my case. This is where people are getting confused. YouTube asks you to paste the stream name into OBS, but OBS only has an area to post the stream key, as we saw earlier, and you'll see here on screen right now. But it's just a terminology issue. The stream name is the stream key. This is where everyone is getting confused at the moment. YouTube and OBS just name it differently. So copy and paste your stream name from YouTube live event page over to OBS, file, settings, stream, and paste the stream key in there. Click apply and click OK. And that's pretty much it. It's just a bit confusing because YouTube and OBS use different terminology and phrasing, but consider it the same thing. So now, if you haven't guessed already, you have to switch keys back and forth on OBS if you want to do both regular streams or scheduled event streams. But that's not too much of a big deal. Just grab the key from the Stream Now page for normal streams and grab the stream name from the events page in your Creator Studio in YouTube. And simply paste them into the stream key area in OBS. So click any save changes, make sure everything is saved, and finally once your scheduled events and finally once your scheduled event is set up and linked to OBS, you'll be taken to the live control room. If you're not taken to the live control room, simply click on events again and bring yourself into the live control room. So you'll see here on screen that we're not currently receiving data from the encoder. We need to make sure that it's configured correctly, which it is. We just haven't actually started the stream. So click Start Streaming from OBS. This is going to start streaming the feed into YouTube, but it's not going to start the stream for your viewers. So you'll see here you have a preview, and you'll see under here you have a public view. So if I was to cl click play on this, I would see my actual stream. And if I was to click this, I'll, all I would come up with is a thumbnail to say uh, you're live in X amount of hours and whatever time you're going to be live and there's a button here for your subscribers to set a reminder to remind them when your stream does begin. And just another vital tip, you're going to want to keep the stream running in OBS until your event is over. So I'm happy enough that the stream status is good, it's not live yet or anything like that and I can click on preview so I'm ready to preview the stream. This is what the preview will look like. At the moment I'm just capturing my own screen. And the public view will still say we're not live for X amount of hours. When you're ready to go, just click start streaming. Even when the live event kicks into play, if it was to start at something like 6pm and you were slightly late, it will not go live. You do have to press the start streaming button. 
Okay guys, so that's pretty much everything. When your subscribers come to their subscription page on YouTube, you're going to see my little thumbnail is there for the test event. So guys, there's not much else for me to say on this video. Hopefully now you know how to link OBS to scheduled events on YouTube. As you know, I'm the nighttime entrepreneur here on YouTube. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions on this video or any other videos, uh, do please ask them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.